So today we're going to um, create a new blog post. Um, the result is going to look like this. You should be able to add a blog post with a title and say hello 2016 and um, a body. So I'm just say eat more cookies for the body. You should be able to save that, see it, um, edit it. So instead of eat more cookie, eat more ice cream. And then if you go back, uh, you can also delete it. So um, let's get started. So in your terminal, um, type in mix uh, dash dash help. And notice on one of the command for Phoenix, you have actually not that one. Uh, the this this command called mix phoenix dot gen dot html. What that does is going to generate a controller model view for a resource for you. Um, so if you actually go in, if you look up the Phoenix docs, which um, there's a link on phoenixframework.org. Um, and then if you scroll all the way up, and then there should be a mixed test Phoenix gen dot html. Um, this document um, has more, a little bit more summary for you. So here notice, actually let's just create it. So what I want to do is type in mix phoenix dot gen dot html and the first argument would be posts which is our resource name and then the table name the database table name and then the field name so i'm going to have a title that's go that's going to be a string and i'm also going to have a um a body that is also a string okay so notice doing that um, Phoenix generate all of these files for you. Um, and the instruction tell you to copy this in to your web router. So open up uh, your project in your editor and then go to web and then all the way down to router.ex and then in between that scope uh, do an end. I want to put in your resource post uh, we want to put in the slime. So what that line does is that if you in your terminal type in mix phoenix dot uh, routes so what it did is that it created all of these um, paths for your posts okay so then the next thing that it told us to do is to run mix ecto dot migrate um, if you are set up your database that's what you should run but I haven't set up mine yet so I'm gonna run mix ecto dot um, setup Okay, so notice here it say my database is created and then it also create the table post. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back this uh, table because I don't want it to migrate yet. So mix uh, ecto dot rollback. Again, you can use mix help to find out what command um, is available. So open up your project and then open up the proof folder. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be private um, repo and then migrations and then open up that migrations so as you can see here um, the migration is saying you want to create a new table um, with the name post and it's going to have a title and a body and notice that both of them are string um, the maximum size for string by default is 256 but um, I want the body to have like a thousand characters because 256 is just not enough um, so I want to do that. So then now that I change that, I can run mix ecto dot migrate again. Okay. Um, so now that we have that up and running, let's start our server. Mix phoenix dot server server. Okay. So notice that it is running a uh, localhost on port four thousand. So let's open that up. Localhost uh, 4000, whoops, 4000 and post. And here we have, um, we, we you see we'll be able to create um, the blog post in title, hello 2016, more stuff. Okay. Notice we can do edit, uh, show, back, delete pretty much everything that you need to do with a resource. So in the next video, I will go over 
um, how to add a new view onto this post so you will see how everything works together.